Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light 100% Light Lock Challenge. In the last episode, we dealt with the, so far the worst spirit that I had to deal with, Viridi. Viridi was just awful and it made me start to realize a few things about some of the challenges. Uh, only on death will a light lock character be defeated. So if a timer goes down and hits zero and I'm still defeated that way, that won't kill the fighter. Uh, secondly, I went back over my footage about Min Min and on Lucas and although I was correct, Min Min somehow glitched through the platform, inserting here for reference. We are going to still uh, consider her dead. I did mention in the last episode that I was going to review the footage to determine who gets to live and die from that scenario since I got to clear my head. So Min Min technically is dead. I do need to switch fighters. Uh, Lucas is going to be considered dead as well because he was the official second character. Male Byleth, I'm not counting as dead because he, while he did die, it was at the point where I was like, none of these character deaths are counting, I'm not going to count any of them, because I was just, I was getting tired of Viridi, and we ended up defeating Viridi anyways with Min Min anyways. So it is not as if Byleth took the win for that battle. So with that in mind... Lucas and Min Min are gone. Which means that I just need to see who I've got. Who could... Let's grab Hero again. One of the other heroes. Let's go with Fish Face Hero. I believe this one is called Solo. Okay, so we're gonna continue in the Lost Woods. We're gonna swap this. I want something with stamina. Perfect, okay. So Shedinja is probably something with, yeah, occasional invulnerability. I definitely hit him. There we go. I definitely hit Shedinja once or twice in that entire match. So, don't know why it was like, oh no, frame perfect invincibility reactivated. Okay, well, that's just, it's painful sometimes. We want to continue, oh, uh, this way, Duster. Stage is covered in fog. Well, we definitely want a blue. Him. Perfect. Get rid of the fog. Duster is one of the hero characters from. Get out of here. From Mother 3, I think, with Lucas. I've never actually been too interested in the Mother series, now that I think on it. Uh, and I don't know why. It's like this supposed to be this really good uh, series. I guess it just never drew my attention to want to play it. 
girl from Hajimari no Mori. Okay. Back to green. Another fog immunity, huh? Perfect. Okay. They favor the down specials. Out of here. Bring it. Get out of here, Ness. Okay, girl from Hajimari no Mari. We are actually one spirit away from clearing out the lost woods, but that does not mean that the area is clear, because we do have the dungeon. Malo! We'll suddenly have a final smash. We want red. Okay, so Jigglypuff will suddenly have a final smash. They favor grab and throws. Ready? Go! Get out of here, Jigglypuff. The uh, final smash was very weird. I don't understand Jigglypuff's final smash. And that just might be me not knowing how it's supposed to be used. Nahelego. Okay. We have Kapora Gabora left. Screen will flip. Perfect. Ready? Go! Get out of here. If I seriously just die. Get out of here. That's why I thought Kapoor, Kapoor. Defeated. Okay. There's the pink switch. Okay, so. The pink switch is at, I'm gonna call it uh, Lover's Lake, which is it looks like I could get there from Candyland faster than this way, actually. 
Let's see, what do I have here? There's a green pipe. If I go this way, it's one. Oh. I can't actually get this way unless I go into the town. Well, that solves that problem then. This way. Pocket foot player. Okay, let's swap to a green fighter. You know what? By trait. I need a green. Really? Only Morgana? Okay, well then I guess we're gonna go purple. I would like... Perfect. Okay, so I'm assuming 11. Tiny villager team. Ready? Go! They were not kidding. Out of here. Okay, Hero does not really have good offense for things that are below his knee. But that's fine. We're just gonna use this as a shortcut. How many battles do I have to get back, actually? Still faster going this way. Ladios and Ladias. Okay. I suspect I want to be heavy. Well, that was a good counter. We're doing pretty good, actually. So far in this episode, we've lost none, but we've also not gained any either. If I were to continue this way, I think I'd want to go up to Candyland first. So we'll go in and face off with Harriet. Weapon resist. Okay. The benefit of using a purple spirit is that I am neutral against the cycle.
Oh, that was perfect. Did you see that throw? Totally was not predicting, uh, trying to do what they do to me all the time, which is predict. Okay, now we are inside Uptown. If I go down, I get a fighter. If I go up, I start making my way towards another fighter. Let's go towards a fighter first. If you the main fighter to win, he avoids conflict. Well, that sounds like the perfect time to use Violet. Metal Killer as well. Okay. Ready? Go! No! Well, I just lost Byleth, who was going to be my greatest asset against the fact that this guy wanted to avoid battle. Oh, that was annoying. Should have just stuck with Fish Face. Again, I, I'm pretty sure his name is actually Solo. That was a close one with uh, Fish Face Solo. I'm going to call him Fishy. Close one with Fishy, but we made it. Okay, that's identifying that this guy can open up those gates. Okay, we Fit Trainer. No clue why if uh, we fit trainer will actually help, but this Ready? will be another two fighters. 
in my roster because of male and female counterparts. Perfect! So, we got ourselves male and female. We've lost Byleth. I need power to the power plant to get there. Anything with those red, that's gonna open that gate and I think, no, that's a power plant thing as well. That gate. That's what that button does. It opens up the city. Let's go do Dan, Stamina Battle, Enemy Taunts, Reduced Jump. Okay, we'll start with this. Those are some eyebrows, man. Get out of here. Victory! Off the platform. I think I'm going to be able to get another character. If I go down, eventually I'll hit another fighter by going down. But for now, let's go up. Increased movement speed and attack power. Let's go. Morton Koopa. Ready? Go! And there. Sometimes a bit of strategy works. Especially against a one-eyed urchin. I'm sure that's an innuendo. Okay. Who are we? Dr. Mario. Yeah, Really does fix the fact that I lost Mario so quickly. Sure. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got Dr. Mario back. We've actually got quite a few characters this time around. Okay. Tingle! Defeat the main fighter. All fighters move faster. 
and can't stop quickly after a while, loves to taunt. Okay. Of course, the one fighter I was after. He was going to drown. <laughs> the one fighter I needed to kill was the one that survived. <laughs> ah, that's okay though. We defeated him. Magic burst. I don't know any of the down boot down be moves. Oh, Panther Caroso has increased movement speed. Sure. Okay, the enemy has increased movement speed. He is played by Wolf. Here, Panther. Woo. We are going to win the challenge of getting another fighter here at Lover's Lake. Oh. Uh. Okay. Nia. Defeat the main fighter, the enemy tends to avoid conflict and heals over time. Okay. If I can pin her down to the side, I could use my magic ability. Oh my gosh! Oh, she did it twice. Got it! Off he goes! I was not expecting her to do it twice, actually. Ugh, that reflect. Smart move, smart move. Fox. Okay, I'm okay with Fox. We definitely are getting a lot of our classic guys unlocked. Go! 
Okay. That was stroke of luck victory. Okay. So we're gonna hit the button and end the episode. All the way back over there. That gate is now open. S and our shortcut back down opens. Okay. So, for the clarification, this uh, dungeon here is what we need in order to stop the light on the bridge so that we can explore this side of the map. It's a very small piece, but we also have two dungeons to do on this side in order to deal with uh, Galim. I do notice that we have four bosses, four heroes left on our map to go deal with. We have yet to go into uh, the big city. We went through Uptown. There's still quite a few places we can go. So, yeah, there's still quite a bit to do. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not. For more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light 100% Light Lock Challenge. We will see you all in the next episode. Later!